Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about solid figures versus plain figures. I believe I already have a tutorial video about solid figures. It gives a detailed discussion about this topic. I will post it in the description box for you to check it out. But for this video, I will compare the characteristics of solid figures and the plain figures. What are solid figures? They are three-dimensional shape figures that have length, width, and height. But before anything else, I would like to discuss this term because it's very important, and that is polyhedron. Polyhedrons are space figures with flat surfaces, called faces, which are made up of polygons. We have different kinds of solid figures, and these are prism, cube, pyramid, cone, cylinder, and sphere. We will tackle each of these figures one by one. We will start off with the prism. A prism is a polyhedron with exactly two faces that are congruent and parallel. These faces are called bases. Other faces are called lateral faces. Some examples of prisms are rectangular prism, triangular prism, pentagonal prisms, hexagonal prisms, and etc. Now let's move on to the cube. This is a cube. A cube is also a prism with congruent squares as bases or sides and lateral faces. The difference between a cube and a rectangular prism is that you can pick any as your two faces since all the faces are congruent. Now let's move on to the pyramid. This is a pyramid. A pyramid is a polyhedron in which one face, also called the base, can be any polygon. The other faces, also called lateral faces, or triangular sides are triangles that meet at a common vertex. Let us have the cone. This is a cone. A cone is not a polyhedron because it has a curved surface. It has a circular base connected to the vertex. The next one is cylinder. This is an example of a cylinder. It is also not a polyhedron because it has curved surface. And a cylinder has two congruent or equal circular bases that are parallel. Let us move to sphere. This is a sphere. A sphere is a figure with a curved surface in which all points on the surface are equal distance from the center. This is our radius and this is the center. Let us have the plane figures. A plane figure is a geometric figure that is flat, whose points lie on the same surface. It has no thickness, only length and width. That is why it is called two-dimensional shape or 2D. Plane figures can be composed of a straight line, curved line, or both straight and curved lines. There are two major categories of plane figures. These are open figures and closed figures. Open figures has at least one endpoint and one side not connected to the rest. Examples of these are line segments, curves, and angles. Closed figure has no break. The line segments or curves are continuous, forming a closed shape. A closed figure has an area and perimeter. 
Closed figures or polygons are bounded by line segments. These line segments are its sides and the endpoints of the sides of a polygon are its vertices. Closed figures also have categories. These are polygonal figures and non-polygonal figures. Polygonal plane figures are closed figures formed by line segments. A polygon has at least three sides. Examples of polygons are triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, and all the n-sided polygon. The non-polygonal figures are plane figures that have curved sides or edges. Now that you know the characteristics and features of solid figures and plane figures, it is time for you to give examples of each of these two. Two for solid figures and two for plane figures. You have to write the one that you can see around you. You may write your answer in the comments section. I'll be waiting for your answer. Thank you. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!